Um, my native name is Bene Sikwe, Um and my clan is Bear Clan. I'm from the Fond du Lac Reservation. And you're a student? Yep, I'm a student. I'm studying human services. Is uh, trafficking something that was talked about um, um, when you were growing up? No, not when I was growing up, no. More towards when I was an adult that I started hearing about it more. Um, mm -hmm. And it was more like for bigger cities and it wasn't really talked about from around here. It's kind of uh, like a either a secret thing or, you know, not really. It's not in the open? Di yeah, discussed. So open. is it discussed now? Um, more and more there has been, um, I went to seminars where the, I believe it's called PASFA or it's for PASFA. PASFA. Yeah, I have um, been to seminars where they would talk about it there, and I am um, one of my family members works for Kimaji, and she uh, she helped me become more aware of. Is trafficking something that affects Fond du Lac, this community, in this town? Uh, I believe it does. Yes. And uh, why do you? I mean, is it just because of trainings, or have you? heard people talk I mean I know you, you, um, I've I mean, known people I'm pressing that, on that so. uh, yeah I've known people that have gone through it and, you know um, yeah I've just I have family members friends that have uh, been affected by it through you know mostly through you know drugs and other things like that. you get caught up in one thing and then you're yeah and it becomes you know a forcible thing so What's the solution? I mean, you're studying solutions, right? Yeah. Well, I just believe that one of the solutions could be, uh, you know, to, it, I think it has a lot to do with, like, drugs, you know, and abuse and uh, being that, like, poverty, you know, things like that. Um, and to find solutions through services that are really, like, abundant. And I believe a lot of people aren't aware of a lot of services that they can get help from or they're, like... Uh, what would the word be? Like, um, pride. Like, they have too much pride or embarrassment to go and ask for help. So, if someone came to you as a social worker, obviously you have more training ahead of you and so on, but, <laughs> and they said, you know, my boyfriend, you know, what they might, they might not come right out and say um, mm -hmm. that they're being trafficked. But if you started to get the idea that they're being trafficked, what would you say to them? How would you respond to them? Um, well, obviously I would take a friendly approach and I would tell them, you know, that there is so many other options and how their self-worth, you know, could be affected by that and there could be so much more to life that has to offer than that. There is so much, you know, that a person's worth more than just their body or money or drugs. Um, you're integrated into the community. You have long, you have a long tradition in this community, generations back. Yeah. Um, what if the um, traffickers are part of the community too? What if the people using, you know, the trafficked person sexually are from the community? Um, then, I don't know, I believe we'd have to take some sort of approaches and find something I don't know. Is this a Native American problem? Um, statistically, I've heard yes. Is it a Native American solution? Through the culture, yes. Very beautiful culture. There could be if people were to practice more ceremonies, get more involved with their language, and more involved with because the culture is very beautiful and the belief system and value system. If they were to be able to practice that and engage in that more, I honestly believe it could put more of an end to most of this.